on him that we might expect, but he has kept pushing him back and kept attacking. Another right hand by Durrell. That round almost got knocked down, but then came back to score a very impressive fight was with Roy Jones, a loss as well. A lot of energy, I might add, and he's trying. He's trying to really show the people that he deserves to be WBC. I know. Crotch missing Taylor. He beat Jean Pascal. Nice left hand by Durrell. Stay focused on the job at hand. Don't get outside himself. And Durrell doesn't want too many of these wild exchanges either. No, we don't because it gives. Well, it's the left hook. And you see Frotch watch that on the tape. Nice combination by Durrell. And he'll hold on. Round seven scheduled for 12. And we're in the period of the fight where he feels like he's supposed to start making something happen. He is pinning a lot of his hopes on the left hook. And it's not there for him. Not our planet in order to throw his power shots. Yeah, that's a very good point. And that because he hasn't been able to put Durrell against the ropes. Durrell doing a lot. Disappearing, and that was a weapon he felt he needed very much. Left. Watch trying to make Durrell fight. Hector Afu telling him to stop holding. Durrell has been doing a lot of holding and refuses to fight inside. Watch trying to make Durrell fight. Hector Afu telling him to stop holding. Durrell has been doing a lot of holding and refuses to fight inside. Doing his best to make it that. Now there's the stop. Both fighters have been holding and Frotch for hitting behind the head. And there he's holding and hitting again, but Durrell using his head. Frotch cannot cut the ring off on Durrell. He needed to oh. oh, my. There's no fight. We'll see. Maybe it did. Frotch coming in with his head. Stand on his bicycle. Watch spinning him on the ropes. Durrell waiting and a hurt. It, it looks as he's not moving as well as Watch though stalking him. He's got to make this thing ugly now. Yeah, this has been a good round for Carl Frost. Yeah, he can't lean back with his head straight up on the ropes. fight and the champion is not willing to give that you will be questioning yourself Darrell pushing through on that last combination wild right hand by the winner in the Taylor fight that went into the 12th round but all those numbers mean nothing if Andre Darrell body work by Fox which he should really have been doing a lot earlier in this fight that's probably one of the things he'll look back on and be annoyed with what is this uh oh Oh, my. Oh, my. Take it from and that is you. Don't know if I'm on board with this because with all the things that have gone on in this fight, I'm not sure at this juncture a referee needs to inter intersperse himself into this fight, especially given the fact that Frotch himself has been guilty of many different infractions. Frotch trying to make Durrell fight. Hector Afu telling him to stop holding. Durrell has been doing a lot of holding and refuses to fight inside. This fight's as, as close as you see yeah. it is, Al. Right, and we don't know, but... Frotch coming back off balance. He really tagged him at the end of the round. Strategy for him. There he switches again, though, and Frotch can't take advantage while he's doing it. Oh, look at the head movement. It probably is. It's just he's putting himself in danger. Carl Frotch wants to try and land something. That hands down. Look at him roll. Slip. Old school fighting right here. 
smiles and continues to move forward. You know, it's intriguing. Strategically, this round favored Frotch for him to fight against Frotch, except when he... Torrey, the first time he's gone 12. Uppercut landing by Durrell. Frotch, and that's a, the first time we've seen a good uppercut from Frotch, and many of his knockouts in previous fights have quite got into this fight because Frotch... And he just never gave Frotch an opportunity to truly land anything big. I mean, he's winning.